I worked out this morning. I just wanted to do a quick plug for this really awesome magazine called Motherland. It's sort of a Indian cultural magazine and every issue is a different theme. So this one's item, like an item song, uh, military, skin, that's a good one. Monday, May 25th, and I have to do a correction from last week's video where I said that I've been living here for three years uh, and got here three and a half years ago. That's actually really wrong. Exactly three years ago today, I left Canada for the very first time to come to India. And cumulatively, I have probably lived here for just over two years, something like that. It just feels like I've been here a lot longer than I have been. The whole reason why somebody like me ended up living in India is because the Canadian government had this grant program where they would give students going to universities money to go to India and study whatever industry it is that they are going to school for. Like chemistry students would go and study clean energy or whatever, <laughs> something like that. And I was a film student, I was in the film production program, so I came to India and I studied the film industry. I came with another girl, Sarah, who is a cinematographer and now she's working as a producer in Vancouver. And we started out in Chennai at this workshop and through that we got to meet a lot of filmmakers. So through those connections I sort of went around India for the next two and a half months with Sarah and we were interviewing filmmakers, producers, writers, actors, anyone basically who would let us into their office and we were getting their opinions and their thoughts on the film industry here in India because we had no idea what the industry was when we came here. I had no plans to go to India, I had no plans to make movies in India or anything. I was on a track to work in Vancouver and now I'm on visa number five. I decided that I wanted to work creatively in a competitive market. I wanted to start a film company with Sadang and Anusha. I think that's all I have to say about that for now. I don't want to bore you. I'm taking the fancy cab today. All the taxis over here have custom interiors. They all have their own uh, designs fabrics and how they do the roofs and everything. We're going by BT Station now. This is like one of the most famous buildings in Mumbai. It is iconic. They always shoot BBC News in front of this place. It's a beautiful station. So now we're going on to JJ Flyover. This is one of my favorite, favorite rides in Mumbai. I'll show you why. It's like an amazing view of all the balconies and everything. I'll show it to you right now. These are the producers of Siddharth. Yeah. I'm doing oh, a daily I vlog. Like yeah. you, saw my blog? you saw my vlog? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah? 
I'm having a fancy lunch meeting. This place is called Global Fusion. It's a massive buffet. Let's walk through. Here's my date. I got a haircut. Did you see it? That's so much better. This is my hairdresser, Zing. It's Zito Salon in Mandra. Look it up, it's awesome. Buggy Beach on Marine Drive, also known as the Queen's Necklace because at night it's a, it all lights up at night. Seawall is where all the cool kids come to hang out and kiss away from their parents. Looks like fun. So, Nick, you're unbreakable, are you? I am. Yeah. So, you may bend me, you may try and break me, but I am on. Breakable. Where are your crutches? What crutches? They're not crutches. They're not crutches here. <laughs> Nick broke his leg recently. I don't break He's no leg. He's a big fat liar. These are my crutches, honey. Crutches. <laughs> शूटिंग जैसे हम लोग आनंद नहीं पार पड़ लोग कार्तिक सारंग माय एसिस्टेंट पल्लू बनो तेरी अखियां सुर में दानी